And this is the Big India Today exclusive that we've been uh, tracking. Uh, yesterday, it was Samajwadi Party Patriarch in Chief Mulayam Singh Yadav who held a two-hour-long meeting with Congress poll strategist for UP Prashant Kishore, sparking a fresh speculation of a Mahagat Bandhan on the card. The controversial SP leader, Amar Singh, accompanied uh, Mulayam Singh Yadav but uh, was not present at the meeting, is what sources have told India today. The political grapevine is speculating that the meeting was an attempt to cobble together an alliance of like-minded parties ahead of Uttar Pradesh polls, but we have access details of what's happened inside the meeting, where reportedly Rahul Gandhi has made it clear that he wants Akhilesh Yadav to be given full command of the party, with uh, choosing Akhilesh over his father to handle the party affairs. It remains to be seen if Samajwadi party will agree to Congress's condition because it will put Mulayam on the back foot, given the fact that a family feud had played out on the streets just last month. But Samajwadi party also desperate fighting the anti-incumbency wave. India Today's Rahul Kaval is uh, joining us. Uh, Rahul, so we've got the inside details uh, of a straight message that's come uh, from Rahul Gandhi. To Mulayam Singh Yadav, how does it change the matrix for Samajwadi Party chief uh, if it wants to shake hands uh, with the Congress Party? Uh, Devina, this is a news break with very serious ramifications for the Uttar Pradesh uh, pre-poll scenario because what Rahul Gandhi has done is that through Prashant Kishore, he's communicated a message to Mulayam Singh Yadav that the Congress is willing to back the SP uh, provided Akhilesh Yadav is in charge. Uh, what's been suggested is the Nitish Kumar formula uh, which was applied in Bihar, where Nitish was seen as a pro-development man, even though Lalu was on board, uh, he was, uh, you know, not riding the chariot as it were. Uh, he was coming up at the back. Uh, similarly, Rahul Gandhi communicating message on behalf of the Congress Party to Mulayam Singh that make Akhilesh in charge. The RLD of Ajit Singh, uh, the Janata Dal United, for whatever it is worth in Uttar Pradesh, and the Congress will back the Samajwadi Party in a Bihar-style secular alliance. Now, this is very important because remember. The SP vote bank has two core aspects. One, you've got the Yadavs who would not want under any circumstances for Mayawati to come back to power because they believe they were hounded when the BSP was in power. If they felt that the SP was losing steam, some of the Yadavs would have gravitated towards the BJP. Then you've got the Muslims. The Muslims, again, would not want the BJP to come to power. If they feel the SP is running out of steam and no longer in the race, they would have started gravitating towards the uh, BSP. Now, that's what Mulayam is trying to prevent. By bringing the Congress on board, he's hoping that at least a part of the Muslim vote bank, which might split away because of all this infighting, will stay with the Samajwadi party, would stay with the idea of this Mahagat Bandhan. Remember, there's already been a lot of rupture, a lot of infighting. What this also does is, it ensures that Akhilesh has pride of place. Because Akhilesh, remember, his big battle with Shifpal Yadav, his uncle, is about who gets to allocate tickets for the UP Assembly elections. Akhilesh wants the lion's share. He believes his development work has given the authority to him to go out and distribute tickets. Shifpal Yadav believes he's the organizational party man. He believes he understands micro politics of Uttar Pradesh much better than the younger Akhilesh. He would like to have the lion's share in distributing tickets. But essentially what we're also seeing is Mulayam uh, now will have Akhilesh in the front, uh, the Congress backing it. No, one of the con questions, Devina, in this interaction was, what about the seat share? Uh, from what we are made to understand, Mulayam Singh Yadav apparently said that seat share can't be decided so quickly. There has to be a long and prolonged conversation around that. So this is the first step, really, Devina, towards the remaking of the poll matrix of Uttar Pradesh. So it's also clear, Mulayam Singh Yadav, desperate, to buck the anti-incumbency wave uh, going towards the Congress camp. Let's break it down for our viewers uh, what we've been getting. Advantage Congress, if there's a tie-up with the Congress, is a strong chief minister face in Akhilesh. Advantage Samajwadi Party helps in battling anti-incumbency blues. Now you have Advantage Congress is nothing to lose only to gain given the congress uh, fortune could reverse what we've seen in bihar could be played out for congress in up if this mahagat pandan comes to place advantage sp is consolidating the muslim vote bank advantage congress again anti-incumbency could uh, hurt alliance and advantage uh, sp's old guard could be forced uh, on the back seat, you also have Congress could lose some of the Brahmin vote bank. Let's not forget, they projected Sheila Dixit to get the Brahmin uh, votes uh, for them. For SP, Congress's political irrelevance could hurt the Samajwadi party. So, 
both are gainers both are losers in this alliance once it comes into play still with us uh, rahul kaval uh, who gets us this inside details so rahul uh, but will it be easier said than done for mulayam singh yadav to cede to rahul gandhi's demand we'd seen in uh, 2012 how akhilesh uh, was able to bring uh, the majority the first ever seen for the samajwadi party in assembly polls with his development plank but uh, you also have the old guard to take care of you know it's an alliance that's also being propelled by necessity remember this conversation had happened earlier as well at that time the samajwadi party was not very keen they thought that they'd be able to go into the selection alone and win the congress's first choice devina make no mistake is still the bahujan samaj party they believe that an alliance with the bsp would actually serve them better there are several leaders like gulam nabi azad in the congress party who would rather that uh, there be a congress mayawati taya but mayawati at this time is confident she feels the bsp vote bank is disintegrating she feels muslims will gravitate towards the bsp she feels that the dalit muslim combine in uttar pradesh is very powerful she sees no reason to ally the sp because they've been hammered so badly because of this infighting now realizes they have no option the congress is hankering for between 125 to 150 seats possibly that's what the congress believes is a respectable formula ordinarily the sp would not like to give the congress so many seats but given the fact that they have no option given the fact that uh, they feel the things are not good looking bright they feel that the muslims might desert them they may be left with no option even if the congress doesn't get those any seats even if they ultimately get 100 it will still give the congress a much better fighting chance remember one of the other things implicit in this conversation between prashant kishore and mulayam devina is the fact that the congress is discarding the grand idea of hoisting uh, sheila dikshit presenting her as a face for chief ministership uh, because of her age her ill health the fact that she hasn't really gained much traction amongst the people of uttar pradesh the congress strategic coming to the conclusion that you can't really be pushing for sheila dikshit as chief minister it's not going to cut any ice you mentioned the brahmin vote that's really a notional idea that's the thought that they had that presenting uh, sheila dikshit as a chief ministerial face might help bring the traditional brahman vote back to the with the congress in uttar pradesh that didn't really work out so it's born out of necessity both for the congress and for the samajwadi party therefore the possibility okay. of it going through brighter all right rahul thanks for getting us all those exclusive details also sources indicating that the jdu could join the alliance or already there is a reports also rife uh, as india today gets you this uh, story of a possible samajwadi party and a congress alliance that nitish kumar for now uh, has not given his assent to attend the silver jubilee functions of samajwadi party uh, later this week and also this has raised speculation over the mahagat bandhan uh, and a janata parivar reformation that mulayam has dreamt of will jdu relent getting first reaction from pavan verma like minded parties who are opposed to the bjp and in particular its politics and divisive and communal agenda and absence of governance strategies those who are opposed to the bjp on this plank like minded party should come together that endeavor needs to be made not only in up but on a pan india basis and we showed an example of it in bihar